everyone. So today I'm going to um, give you a couple of updates. This will be my 32 week update. I just hit 32 weeks today. That means eight more weeks to go. I'm so excited. Um, I don't know if I'm going to last that long, but we will see. Um, I'm standing in the baby's nursery or what will be the baby's nursery. As you can see, um, there's some little baby clothes hanging up. There's some diapers. Um, and then there's some of my junk, which I'll give you a little update as far as where I'm at with organizing all of that stuff. And um, just go over my doctor's appointment I had yesterday and a couple of other fun little <laughs> pieces of information. Well, I think it's fun. So if you remember from another vlog, I was telling you that my craft room, what was my craft room, was going to be turned into the baby's room. So. One of the first steps um, was clearing everything out that um, was related to my crafting. I had a six foot table that got moved out, fold, just a fold up table, folded out, moved into the garage. Um, and then also just packing away a lot of the craft supplies. So um, this has some fabric, it has an unfinished quilt that I'm working on. This is actually a pillow from when I was born. It has my stats, um, Avalyn, um, also my weight and my birth date. Um, but then I have some knitting things in here, some more fabric. This is a baby blanket. I started knitting a while back and uh, the baby is like one years old now so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that one because it's obviously in a box and it's actually pretty much done I just have to weave in the ends but like I said now the baby is big um, I got another storage box for some clothes that um, my cousin gave me but they're all like 12 month clothes so they're gonna be in the box for a while um, and these are some sweaters of mine. Now, the closet that is in this room used to be full of my clothes. I took some of the sweaters so out. So I took so some that of the sweaters out so that I could make a little bit of room for some baby clothes. So this is what I've gotten so far from friends, showers. Um, goes from zero to three months here to um, I think six to nine months and um, so these are just a few little outfits and sleepers that I have hanging and I also oh the rest of the closet is all mine Shh. Um, the baby won't know he won't care that I'm sharing with him sharing is caring right he'll share with mommy um, so down here I have some more clothes um, look at these little booties. These were the first little booties that I received from a co-worker um, when I announced that I was pregnant and having a boy. She gave me these. Um, they're so cute. Maybe the baby will um, wear them home from the hospital or soon after. I don't know. But um, So I've also started to organize. Um, and all of this was with the help of um, my mom. You know, um, after my most recent shower, some of my friends came over and they divided up the gifts into gift bags as far as um, if they were baby gadgets or clothes, books, and whatnot. And then the next day, my mom really helped me um, organize the rest of it. I just, you know, sat in the little chair over there in the corner right there with my feet up right there and yes I put a towel over the feet um, the ottoman portion so that I don't get the fabric dirty but um oops sorry about that of my hand um, so yeah I just sat in the director's chair and mom brought stuff over um, I put it all together so, um, I have these little bins here. Um, I got this gray and white striped bin from my sister-in-law. 
and I filled it with clothes that are gonna go in the baby dresser as soon as I get it I ordered it today from Target and um, it should be delivered this weekend or early next week and then I had these little organizers before on some shelving I had for my craft room so since I packed all of that craft stuff away in these bins which are gonna go in the garage I was able to um, organize some of the other gifts that I got for instance these are all just like teethers pacifiers and other miscellaneous toys so I have um, receiving blankets here um, books here and some CDs and then um, some burp cloths and more receiving blankets and a bunch of stuffed animals from another co-worker that I'll have to get like a toy box for and um, just some other gifts so all of that will be organized soon and over here on the shelving I got some diapers all of these are size ones and then um, I have different brands Pampers Huggies Loves so I'll be able to try them all and see which one I like best because that's something I really hear a lot of people say is that you'll have a preference so the rest of the shelving is stuff I still have to organize um, I have two sewing machines here and just some other junk these are stickers that I'm gonna be able to take pictures of the baby as he grows each month there's from one month to 12 months and there's actually a matching frame I got my mom for Christmas um, Ooh, speaking of Christmas I never gave someone their present oops oops but the top shelf has um, hats and hair dryers and just kind of random stuff ooh this is like an electrical thing I don't know what happened there but um and then on the bottom I used to sell Mary Kay and so my Mary Kay bag and some surplus items that I will be needing to um, do something with so I showed you the closet um, and then over here currently we have the crib my dad and stepmom gave us the crib thank you so much so we just have to get the sheet because or the um, mattress pad because currently there's no mattress pad in there and then my mom made this beautiful quilt la, 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 la. so the crib is eventually going to go against that wall there there was a question of whether or not the window was drafty it's not um, and so I think that will be fine and then the dresser when it comes will go in that spot my grandmother and my aunt um, and my cousin got me this great um, diaper bag which um, it also has a little mini in it as well the bow comes off it's just for looks right now but um so pretty soon I will be packing this for the hospital so I'll definitely do a video on what's in my hospital bag once I get to that point but um, I just have a couple of other things to clear out here this is just a bag of um, you know gift bags that everything has come in we've been so fortunate and so blessed to have so many friends and family um, I had one shower in San Diego another one in Sacramento and I have one more next week at work and so um, I'm just you know it's so overwhelm overwhelming how much we've been blessed by everything that we've gotten for our baby um, I used to sell Mary Kay so I have a couple of boxes of supplies that I use for parties and things all that's gonna um, end up going in the garage the shower we just had this weekend um, there was a really cute sign that was hanging on the wall that I probably want to hang on on the nursery wall it has the baby's name 
and some Winnie the Pooh characters hung on strings on clothespins. So that's going to go up um, on the wall. That's the plan. So that's the nursery progress so far. This is another gift we got. It is an Eddie Bauer play yard. It's a combination of a few different things. Um, when the baby's sleeping um, in it, the changing table will be removed um, and maybe the canopy, but it has um, a rather hard surface. And um, I asked a couple of gals on a Facebook group that I'm on um, about that, and I got a lot of good suggestions and comments. Um, there is a mattress that you can buy for the um, play yard that will make it a little bit more comfortable. Another mom told me she put a changing pad in there. Um, and by changing pad, I mean those really cushiony mattress type things that will go on top of a changing table. Um, and she said her baby slept comfortably in there too. So there's a couple different things um, that I'm going to try. Someone else said that uh, their baby had no problem just sleeping as is. So um, we'll definitely play around see what works. A lot of people have told me that you think you, um, ooh, my hair looks atro atrocious. A lot of people have told me that you think you um, know what your baby's going to sleep in or how they're going to sleep or where they're going to sleep. And then um, once the baby comes, they're the ones that tell you. So we're going to be open to, um, you know, obviously whatever the baby will do. So I just have a couple more updates I wanted to give you. I don't know if you can tell, but I am extremely tired. Um, I worked all day. I had another sleepless night last night. So um, I'm going to sleep good tonight. But um, I went to the doctor yesterday. Baby was active, and I got a kick card measurement. I'm supposed to every day um, record how long it takes the baby to kick or have some type of movement um, at least 10, 10 times. So, kick 10 times. Does it take 30 minutes? Does it take an hour? Does it take two hours? But this little guy is really, really active. So, um, it's so far yesterday and today have been under 30 minutes for sure. Um, as soon as I eat or drink something cold, he's kicking. Um, heartbeat was really good. It was between 140 and 150, so that's a sign of a nice, healthy baby. Um, I brought up the fact that, sorry, I'm out of breath, um, another symptom of this pregnancy here. Not much room for my diaphragm. See if I can sit up a little. I don't know if that will help. But um, I brought up the fact that I've been getting swelling in my legs and feet or ankles and feet, particularly on my left leg. Um, doctor checked it out and she said, you know, it's pretty common late in pregnancy. Um, I have been having an issue with my shoes. So my mom took me shoe shopping. Um, I got some Easy Spirits. Okay, for you fashionistas out there, they're not the most stylish things, but I have to tell you, um, it definitely gives better support as far as um, it's kind of like a tennis shoe. And the part that I really like is it's all elastic. So when the feet start to swell, um, it's like the shoe grows with you. I've worn them all day for two days and um, I have not had any problems. They've been so comfortable. It hasn't been hard to walk around. Um, these are Easy Spirit, Easy Spirit 360. So, um, got them from Macy's. It's really comfortable along the back of the heel as well and just really good support and um, just really comfy. I also got a couple pair of flip-flops. Um, I got a blue pair and a black pair. 
Um, these are Crocs. I've never owned Crocs before, but um, I was wearing like the $3 or $5, sometimes $1 old navy flip flops. Now these like gave no support and you can tell I've had them for a while. They're like worn on the toe. Um, no support whatsoever. Um, I was wearing them because, you know, they fit my swollen feet, but, um, so my mom was just like, you need to be comfortable. The last two months are going to be hell if you're walking around shoes that don't fit your feet. Um, so she also bought me two pairs of these flip flops. So I don't know if you can see, but they have these raised, um, dots that really, um, help with the circulation as far as keeping that blood flow um, they have good padding and support this one is um, like a leather Swedish probably not real I don't know um, top and these ones are all rubber so these ones are just more casual the dots aren't as pronounced on these ones but um, there are dots here too so I these are so comfortable I wore them out of the store so um, when I was when I walked in the store I was wearing these when I walked out of the store and for the rest of the day it was these these are going in the trash so those are the last couple of updates I wanted to give you um, other than that I am having one more baby shower at work next Wednesday and so um, hopefully I'll be able to do like just a baby shower overview of pictures from my showers just again to share um, the love that we've been receiving and just to thank everyone again so much for um, really just being so excited and celebrating with us and um, gifting us with so many cute things and um, so many things that we've really needed. Um, Shana Michelle Cherry Lou, thank you for the little um, bassinet playpen. It's going to be used well into this little guy's life. So thank you guys for watching. Um, comment below, subscribe to my channel, thumbs up, um, let me know what else you want to see, and um, have a blessed day.